Welcome to today's Sophix video tutorial. In today's video, we look at TLP measurements as a versatile tool for ESD design and characterization. We typically qualify the ESD robustness of an IC using uh, common test models like the human body model, the machine model, or the charged device model. Unfortunately, these models uh, yield incomplete information about uh, the IC's ESD behavior. In contrast, transmission line policy measurements yield comprehensive information about the ESD behavior of an IC. Uh, the TLP measurement is a high current ESD line characterization of an IC. From TLP data, we can extract an ID characteristic of the on chip ESD protection cells in an ESD relevant current and time domain. In addition, using TLP, we can actually extract important information uh, like the triggering and the clamping behavior of EAC protection structures, which are typically found at the chip's interfaces. In order to perform a TLP uh, measurement, we zap the EAC protection device with a, a preset high voltage uh, pulse. We then measure the transient current and voltage using a high bandwidth sampling scope. From this, next we proceed to uh, averaging of this transient voltage and current over an averaging window as shown here, and in that way generate one data point for our IV curve. Uh, in order to, uh, for the next zap, we adjust the high voltage preset level and zap the device again and repeat this procedure here. Uh, on the left, we can see examples of uh, such zaps. Uh, for each pulse, we uh, measure the transient voltage and current. Uh, then we average these and get the data point for our IV curve. And in that way, we can build up the IV curve. On the right, we see actual uh, TLP measurement data for an on chip ESD protection device. In blue, we see the IV curve. Um, from uh, this IV curve, we can clearly see the snapback behavior of the device. From this uh, curve, we obtain important information like the holding voltage, the triggering voltage, and the on resistance. In red, we see the leakage of the device. We obtain this uh, leakage uh, current data by performing an integrated DC leakage measurement after each TLP zap. The leakage data is important because it gives us information about the degradation of the ESD protection device. When we notice a sudden increase in uh, the leakage current, then we know for sure that ESD uh, failure has uh, occurred. So by carefully monitoring the leakage data, we can pinpoint the onset of degradation in the ESD protection device. So in summary, while uh, test models like the human body model, uh, the machine model or the charge device model are rather fast to implement, they uh, only yield pass-fail information and do not give us an IV curve. On the other hand, TLP measurements are rather slow and require manual setup of the die for each measurement. However, they give us a full IV curve. Uh, we get uh, detailed information about important parameters such as the holding voltage, the triggering voltage, the on resistance and the failure current, and of course we get uh, a full evolution of uh, the leakage current. At Sofix, we use TLP measurements to verify all our designs, and in this way we can guarantee peace of mind for IC designers who include our ESD protection cells in their chips. Thank you for following this video and stay tuned for uh, the next ones in the series.